Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ in this wonderful and blessed morning. Dear children of God, let us together on this year of 2022, on this month of November 7th, Monday morning, to worship our God, to praise our God, our Heavenly Father, for every wonderful opportunity. Let us thank Him. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Last full morning, our Lord protected us. Let us lift a hand and tell our Lord, thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. You gave us good sleep last night. Let us lift a hand and thank Him. The Lord gave us a good sleep to sleep peacefully. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. With good health, happiness, hallelujah. Amen. This morning to be awake. The Lord has helped us. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Daddy. This morning, wonderfully, our Lord who is leading us for His mercy and grace, Father. Thank you. This morning for wonderfully leading us for Your grace. We tell you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, Daddy. You are a good God. You are a great God. You are a faithful God. You are unchanging God. There is no one like you. You are a God who is a more than enough. This morning, Daddy, victoriously. for leading us thank you this morning abba father we worship you abba father we praise you thank you for your grace is great your mercy is great your compassion is great hallelujah father we tell you thank you father we worship you father we lift your name on high father we glorify your holy name for all your works you have done for us father we tell you thank you thank you lord thank you in psalms 33 the psalmist is saying Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous, for praise from the upright is a beautiful. Praise the Lord with the harp. Make melody to Him with an instrument of ten strings. Sing to Him a new song. Play skillfully with a shout of joy. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people He has chosen as His own inheritance. Amen. Behold, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear Him. on those who hope in his mercy this morning together to worship him to praise him let us thank him for this opportunity let us all close our eyes and pray dear heavenly father for this wonderful blessed morning thank you for protecting us last full morning thank you father thank you jesus for the good sleep you gave us last night thank you daddy with good health you woke us up father thank you this morning jesus for miraculously leading us for your faithfulness father we tell you thank you abba father we pray for all who are hearing this voice today everyone personally we give them into thy hands in the name of jesus christ we bless each and every one of them in everyone's need let your grace be there everyone jesus for protecting them thank you daddy you are children what do they are worried about father where they are literally depressed this morning in the name of jesus christ father do a miracle let the angel of the lord come down for them on to whatever matter your children are worried about in the name of jesus christ let the angel of the lord come upon them come down and lord jesus deliver them from whatever problem and issues they are facing Lord Jesus like how the angel came down in the prison when Peter was there father this morning for your children for angels coming down to help them father we thank you Lord Jesus we pray for the sick this morning let them be healed let the health be restored in the name of Jesus Christ every problem in the lungs be healed every function of the lung every weakness of the lungs be gone in the name of jesus christ the power of god be upon the lungs be healed in the name of jesus christ with good health to move forward father bless them for good health is a thy gift lord jesus thank you for your gift to father that which you have given to each one of us we thank you daddy thank you father also lord we pray for those who see unnecessary dreams in the night seeing dreams and being sad seeing dreams and cry in the name of jesus christ every unwanted dream we stop it in the name of jesus christ in these coming nights of oh father let them see dreams that are filled by the holy spirit hallelujah 
no one cheeses those who are going to financial difficulty those who don't have job open way for them whatever is the need of your children upon that your will of father your work of father your glory of father let it be revealed we pray for all that you have done for us we say thank you let your name alone be glorified thank you for the mighty intervention of the holy spirit for your all your works we thank you daddy father we bless all our meetings lord jesus let me greatly bless and glorious and let thy kingdom grow and let your name be glorified and your name alone father in jesus mighty and matchless name we make this prayer amen 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 god bless each one of you abundantly this morning today further we are going to meditate from the book of hebrews we will start from hebrews chapter 13 verse 5 let your conduct be without covetousness when we live in this world the reason for every harm is the love for money somehow or the other i want to make money a great desire a great love for money having money is not wrong but a great desire and love for money is not good for a child of god in the word of god we read that in many areas that covetousness covetousness Paul says in many areas in the word of God be content with such as you have what god has given to us we should be satisfied to what god has given to us we should say thank you father for all that you have given to us we thank you be satisfied be content with what you have for he himself has said i will never leave you nor forsake you the lord is saying i will never leave you nor forsake you hallelujah whatever we say we have but if god is not with us we are zero because we been hearing in these days hallelujah who gives us the ability to enjoy all that we have it's a lord god hallelujah so our god should be with us for he is the one who gives us life to enjoy what he's blessed us with so be satisfied with what you have don't have any unnecessary desires for money in your life for we may boldly say the lord is my helper i will not fear what can man do to me hallelujah this is a confidence a boldness that we have in us that the lord is my helper in the midst of any problem difficulty in the midst of any challenges the lord is for me what can man do to me if the lord is for me who can be against me most of the time we as children of god we don't remember it when problem can be forgotten at that time we think many other things but in the midst of problem and difficulty we should think my god is for me through jesus christ the heavenly father is my father today and he is for me when we understand that fear in living in this world the fear in living over here will go of whatever kind of fear it is we should understand my god is for me the one who made the heaven and the earth the almighty god jehovah rafa my god i do he is with me i don't have to be afraid and then it says remember those who rule over you who have spoken the word of god to you whose faith follow considering the outcome of their conduct so we should remember the people who lead us the pastors evangelists we should bless them and pray for them jesus christ is the same yesterday today and forever verse number 8 a never changing god but he can bring changes he can make changes he does not change but he brings changes in our life how jesus was 2022 years back <clears throat> in the house of martha and mary what he did in that bethaniel the leprosy person what he did for the widow's son what jesus did what he did in the pool of bethsaida that jesus christ he does not change hallelujah he say be let your conduct be without covetousness be content with such things trust in god he is my help after saying all these things the word of god is saying he does not change jesus christ is the same yesterday today and forever meaning no change he can do the same thing how he was then today also to do in that same way of a god is more than enough what he did in those days to do it today how he healed in those days to do it today how he increased in those days to increase us today it's 
impossible for him. There is nothing impossible for him. That is a God we serve. We who trust in the Lord. You should understand one thing, children of God. The power of God does not perish. The Lord does not take pension. What he did in those days, today to do in our life, he is more than enough. So don't look at your situation and be afraid or fearful. Don't trust in man. Like how Paul is saying, not even one disciple trusted in men and got the needs done. They trusted in God. When they faced a challenge, they prayed. When they needed something, they prayed. And in this manner, they saw supernatural miracle. Everyone who is hearing this message today, decide to see miracle. Trust in God. Open your eyes to see the work of God. Give yourself into the hands of the Lord. For my Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. is a problem in your office, matter at your home, whatever it is. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. Hallelujah. This God is our God. And today for you and for me, he can do miracle, unchanging God. So completely depend on God, the unchanging one. He will do miracle for you. <clears throat> and let the Lord bless you abundantly this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, we will grow, we will increase, we will multiply and we will be great. We are blessed. We are really blessed. We are permanently blessed and highly favored. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you today. Hallelujah.